We live on a small planet that revolves around a star that is no different in size, luminosity, or location than any other. It's just one among many. Are the planets that orbit our star what distinguishes it from the others? Or are there also extrasolar planets that revolve around other stars? If that is the case, could it be that there are inhabitable worlds like Earth? The endless variety of the solar system is barely a reflection of the infinite diversity of the universe. But as of now, we only know of one planet where life has developed, ours. Using different techniques, both from Earth and from space, astronomers study other stars trying to detect planets that orbit them. Could one of these worlds be suitable for the development of life? Exotic worlds we might one day get to know, with their clouds of unusual components or volcanoes shooting unthinkable substances into space. And who knows, we may find our galaxy companions there, with forms of life we can't begin to imagine. And they will be, finally, proof that we are not alone in this minute drop in the cosmic ocean. Albedo Fuldome brings the fascinating exploration of new planets and the scientific advances in the area to audiences of all ages through this educational and entertaining program. Extrasolar Planets, Discovering New Worlds.
there are more stars within the range of our telescopes than grains of sand in the Sahara Desert. Could it be that what has happened here on Earth has also happened elsewhere? In the last few years, we have discovered planets orbiting some of these stars, so it's pretty likely that somewhere other than Earth, life has evolved. Beings that, like us, can understand, can build, and could get in touch. So what would these intelligent aliens look like? There's lots of effort going into hunting for life in our solar system, and it's a very important quest. Finding as much as an alien amoeba so close to home would suggest that where life can get started, it will. sending signals into space, then many of us may witness the detection of intelligent alien life somewhere else in our galaxy during our lifetime. And then we'd know for certain that we're not alone in the universe. <laughs>